169. Jeez. 170. 175. I'm joined with my friend Luchathor here, and we're going to talk about the Outlaw and what crazy things he's done to it. Go ahead, in three words or less. Okay, three words or less. Tell the audience about the Outlaw. A better hammer shot. A better hammer shot. That works. Let's jump right into the video and see how spicy this thing is with some extra parts that were added. So you have done some stuff with the Outlaw. This is a special project you've been working on for a bit now. Tell everyone about how you just started doing uh, design work, like uh, you use what, Fusion 360? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and talk about this project, what you've been doing and, and how you thought about to do it and what you did. Yeah, Fusion 360, uh, the only thing I know how to make right now are cylinders. <laughs> so I'm mean, gonna start somewhere, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, but for this project, uh, I noticed there's a gap around the stock barrel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw, you know, a little gap around the dart head, and I was like, oh, that needs an O-ring. Yeah, because I like seal breaches. Better seal, yep. Make it a sealed breach. So that's literally how it started. <laughs> so I want to talk about today's sponsor, PCB Way. Now you actually went in and used PCB Way to order some parts. Uh, used special code Doctor Flux for mm -hmm. was it 10% off? Yeah. Cool. But essentially, I want to give a little piece about it. So PCB Way is great for when you're trying to prototype, and maybe you can't go and have you know thousands of something built. So you want to go in and basically prototype a part, and maybe um, you don't want to push it into full production. So this is a good opportunity to get the thing, check the tolerances, make sure it looks good, and then proceed with going into you know widespread manufacturing. Yeah. So do you want to talk about your the process in which you went in and had that done? Sure. So it was pretty straightforward. Um, I made a couple of different versions. This uh, barrel right now is currently version six. Uh, version one's kind of useless. I just cloned the stock gotcha. barrel just to be like, oh, let's see how my tolerances are. So you just take like digital calipers, measure yep. it out. Yep, yep, exactly. So I went with that, then I extended the barrel and uh, this one's pretty much flush with the end here. So it's a pretty full long barrel. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I just exported it as a step file. Okay. And then- uh, uh, So keep in mind, cause I, I was looking at he was kind of showing me what he did. Uh, so for CNC type of files, it has to be step because yeah. it, it wouldn't take an STL. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, how, and how did you make it a step? You, uh, you can just export you it. Just export out of Fusion 360. Yeah. Because we did a 3D printed part, and that one took an STL. Mm. So. And um, yeah, just other than that, you just choose a material. In this case, I chose brass because brass is pretty. Yeah. Um, what other options did you see in there? Because there's like aluminum. <laughs> Dude, there's titanium. Titanium. <laughs> Dude, a titanium barrel would be dope. <laughs> but it was like three times as much. Yeah, yeah, titanium <laughs> is nuts. And then yeah, just other than that, just different finishes. You can get it anodized, things like that. So overall, the process, how long did it take? 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so 10 minutes to do it, and then how long did it take for them to actually see and see the part, put it in the mail, and get to you? Uh, it took a little bit, a little while. It took like a week or so, but oh. they did tell me in like a previous email, they're like, hey, we're kind of backlogged. So I was like, yeah, yeah whatever. I typically have seen, because I think it's a what, two two weeks, three weeks tops. Mm. But you, yeah, so you got yours in about a week? Uh, about a week, yeah. Okay. I'd say closer to two weeks. Not bad. And uh, I know those parts do come from China, so you know th there is that to consider. Mm. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel and use PCB Way, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the stock performance of this and what you did and how you know how that increased. You, you remember stock performance? Yeah, it was about like 120 FPS. 120. Yeah. Now what is it? 148. Duplicate. 144. Duplicate, 175, 148, 169, jeez, 146, 170. Uh, right now it's hitting like, what, mid 140s? Mid so 140s, upper, good. I think we saw some, uh, what was the highest number, it's like 160 or something? Yeah, 160, or? 170, I think. Or, yeah, yeah uh, a little they, spicy. We, we thought they were outliers, but it kept consistently hitting those high numbers, but for the most part, it was like upper 140. Yeah. Which is nice, I mean, that's that's a great upgrade. Yeah, let's go over the installation of this part and how easy it is. It was pretty straightforward. All you do is, you know, take out the screws, obviously, mm -hmm. and then um, it's actually just a single clip holding the barrel in place okay. to the uh, trigger. Yeah, that one little plastic. Yeah, cup, from, yeah. from the backside, you just push it and it'll fall out. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. I designed this barrel specifically to fit inside the stock, like tapered inner mm -hmm. barrel thingy. Gotcha. But um, if you were to replace it, you could go with like a full, you know, regular 16 millimeter barrel mm -hmm. outer diameter. Other than that, yeah, it was straightforward. Open it up, take out the parts, slide in the new barrel, put it back together. Pretty easy upgrade. Uh, what about the spring? 
And the plunger too, all that, did you do anything with the spring or? Uh, the, so the spring is a worker, I want to say it's a worker swift 1.6 spring. Okay. That's slightly cut down. It's okay, about that, that is the same spring in there? Because mm -hmm. we were doing some testing with some various springs. So yeah. Okay. So worker swift and how about how much? It's the same as stock. Oh, okay. So okay. you probably could have gotten a little bit more. Extra coil or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess the last thing to talk about is are your files going to be available? Um, you know, what's your what's your plans with this? Uh, it's kind of work in progress right now. So a couple little things I like was looking at. Um, you noticed it too, but a couple of the uh, cylinders would get stuck with the O-ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So uh, with my printed barrels, they would worked fine. Mm -hmm. But since, the, you know, when they machine it, it's more precise, I think I have to make it like a slightly deeper like cut into the actual material. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm thinking about maybe even doing a slightly tighter inner diameter. Right now I'm working with a like, you know, like a standard Kiryaka barrels, 13 millimeter inner diameter. Mm -hmm. But I might try to go closer to like whatever, like 17, 30 seconds brass is. Okay. So we'll see. But um, beyond that, I don't know. What, what were those? Uh, I saw you had some 3D printed kind of like thing that you slid brass through. What was that? Was that this or? No, that one was 17, 30 seconds. So, okay, so you so basically- slightly tighter, but not by much. So are those separate files that kind of slide over this, mm -hmm. the brass? Okay, are, are those gonna be available or? Uh, no. <laughs> that was just more for testing? Yeah, it was just, so I'm currently in talks with uh, some hobby shops and uh, to see if they'll carry it. But as of right now, I'm just finalizing, okay. trying to get it nice and, you know. Cool you know, many feet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like what I've seen today. Uh, thank you for coming on today and uh, talking about your awesome Dart Zone Max Outlaw. So thanks for hanging out with me today and sharing your awesome project. Special thanks once again for PCB Way. As always, I wanna thank you for watching. Be safe and happy foam flinging. Okay, oh, I guess our frame's a little <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. All right, can you stand up? Can you be a little taller? I'm just playing. <laughs> You're fine. That, that's not, no, get down. Get down. All right. Get down.